everyone and welcome to another edition of the backup application version of web tips and tricks. In today's installment I wanted to briefly show you how you can actually upload your SQL database. So in my case if we take a look upon my SQL database the moment is a ver is the version 2016 that is installed uh, for my vim so my vim is using this uh, outdated database of um, sql we are going to be upgrading to the frequent uh, frequently newest version that is available so 2022 I got it here uh, already downloaded. I got the evaluation version here. So let's start the setup. And before we actually start any anything, I'm just gonna go to Vim one again once again. <coughs> just to show you that everything actually works. So as you can see, Vim is working perfectly. Uh, it loaded with all of the services at the moment, so we are going to shut it down. Now we're going to go to installation, and we have here upgrade from previous versions of SQL Server, which we're going to use. And of course, before upgrading, it is advised to stop all of the Vim services. So you can either do it with PowerShell if you know the commandlet or you can actually do it manually from here since there there is a little bit of those and i want to be sure that all of them are actually stopped when i'm operating the sql database so i'm gonna do it manually doesn't take long to actually stop all of them And there we go. Now we can actually commence with the upgrade. So if you have installed everything uh, in correct order, I don't have the SQL Express, I have SQL Standard then uh, it should actually show you the version that you have cur currently installed which is of course this I have the evaluation because I first installed the whole MySQL server with management tools and after that I, I installed Vim so it actually showed what kind of instance is now running on this workstation so we are upgrading this. We're gonna select the features that we want to also. And we got them selected from auto automatically, so we don't need it, so okay. We're gonna i I'm gonna stick with the um, default instance ID and name and whatever. Just gonna leave it as it is. That's fine full text upgrade so we got here 
three different settings. We got import, rebuild, or reset. And import full text catalogs are important and ready to serve queries faster than uh, with the rebuild. Full text catalogs are rebuilt using the new and add work on breakers. Or reset, full text catalogs are reset. Okay, so I'm gonna go with import. So what do we have here? Uh, service uh, SQL uh, Server in 2016 says service pack 3 or later is required for the upgrade. Okay, so uh, at the moment we need to have service pack 3 installed here. Okay, so I'm just gonna download it, install it, and then we will be able to upgrade. Okay, so let's download service pack 3. Next, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video for now because it's gonna take a moment. Okay, so the small update was successful. So let's try once again to recheck. Oh, so I need to restart, okay. Great, so I'm gonna restart. Okay, so after the restart, all of the Vim, as you can see, uh, services are stopped, so it's fine. Uh, let's check now, after the restart and upgrade to the specific package that was required. Okay, our instance. That's fine. Okay, import. Now let's upgrade. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video again and I'm gonna go be back when it's actually finished, unless it takes quite fast. Doesn't seem so. Okay, so I'm, I'll be back soon. Alright, so this is how it looks after everything has been completed. 
As you can see, one or more affected files have operations pending. You must restart your computer after the setup process and it's completed. Fine. Okay, so let's close this. And now we're gonna just restart everything and then we're gonna commence with starting up Vim and checking up our new SQL version. Okay, so we're back after the restart. Just gonna check the services. Just gonna try to start all of those as fast as possible. Fresh. Some of the them still pending restart. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so <coughs> just to check, let's go to Okay, let's check here. So basically now we have also Microsoft SQL Server 2022 here. And what we're gonna do, let's go to services and let, let us actually check where is the MySQL service. Okay, so here we ha have our service. Let's open our Vim. And there we go. Vim works as expected with the newest version of MySQL server installed on this instance. So, if you like the video, as always, like and subscribe. I hope this was helpful. Uh, consider supporting the channel. And I will see you in the next one.